Hello everyone, Sergeant Thomas here, and I wanted to make this video kind of as an update video on my channel as well as my Minecraft world. Uh, I know I have not uploaded a video in like two and a half, three weeks or something like that. Um, my last video was a tour of this hotel and casino, and there's no one single reason why I took a break from Minecraft. Um, I've been known to take breaks from Minecraft out of nowhere um, every once in a while because even though this is my favorite game and everything, I play it so much that sometimes I get bored of it, or I play it so much I just burn myself out where I just don't want to play it anymore. For a while, I don't think I'll ever stop playing Minecraft forever. Uh, I hope not until I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> but I just took a break, and I think I was kind of burnt out on it uh, from building this entire building here and just doing the same thing over and over again, just working on this building every single day to get it done. Um, and now that it's done and I've taken a little bit of, of a break from it uh, I have been playing it the past couple of days. I've done some work to these roads and stuff like that um, But another reason I quit uploading YouTube videos a lot here lately is I've, I've lost a little bit of inspiration and motivation and things like that. Um, I think I've lost inspiration <clears throat> just due to just being bored of the game again like I said I, I just didn't want to build anything I was not inspired to build anything and I've lost a little bit of motivation because I know I'm not the greatest youtuber commentary wise or you know the stuff I upload in general but I feel like stuff like this in my personal opinion I'm not trying to say that I'm the best builder or anything like that but I feel like this deserves a little more than a couple hundred views and I just hate putting so much time and effort into these builds and not getting what I feel like I should be out of it when it comes to views and feedback and stuff like that. For all of those that do view my videos every time and like them and share them and comment, I really appreciate that a lot. And I'm not saying that I don't appreciate even the little views that I get. I just sometimes I feel like I put so much time and effort into these these Minecraft builds and they just don't pay off. And it's a little depressing, but I'm not going to let that make me stop making videos you know, in general. I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing and maybe someday I'll be up there with some of these guys that get hundreds of thousands of views on you know doing stupid stuff in these Minecraft videos which to them and to their viewers they like it and I, I, I respect that but I feel like there's there's a type of person out there that respects this and I'm just not I feel like I'm just not getting the views sometimes um, because another thing is I have 3,000 plus subscribers and almost every single one of my views comes from somebody that's not subscribed to my channel so that's a little depressing too is I have all these subscribers and they don't really watch my videos but I know there's some of you out there that do I know it's not all my subscribers not watching my videos I know there's a couple hundred that are pretty loyal and I appreciate you guys I really do it's just again it's a little opposite of motivational when I'm not uh, getting the views that I feel I deserve but again who am I to say I do and don't deserve views on some of this stuff to some people I probably build like crap so that's fine but anyways I don't want to get on too much of a rant here um, I'm like I said I'm, I'm not, I haven't quit making YouTube videos and I haven't quit playing Minecraft totally I just kind of took a break there and I found some more inspiration and some of that inspiration has come from myself and for a while there, I did not know what to do with the hotel and casino when it came to the exterior. And that's why in my last video where I toured it, the outside of the building, there was nothing done to it. These two roads went straight and that was it. There was just these two roads straight and the building. And again, the reason there was nothing built around the building was I didn't know how to do something in between the road that originally went straight here. And the building I didn't know if I should put a parking lot in between the two or if I should put a, a road as a driveway up to the building from this road to the front of the building where that like I can't think of the name of that thing but that overhang thing is right there at the entrance I didn't know what to do with it and when I originally thought about building this world from the very beginning I wanted to do a city area which this is gonna be and I wanted it to be inspired by New York City but, but not necessarily 
identical to New York City or anything like that. I'm getting inspiration from New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia, even LA, which it's not like a New York style city, but it still has lots of skyscrapers and things like that. And when it comes to New York City, I want the buildings to be very, very close to the road. Uh, as you see here, we got the road, the building, and a sidewalk in between, and that is it. There's no grass in between, which was kind of going to end up being that way before with this road going straight here. Look how much room I had in between where the road used to be and the building. There was so much space and I did not want it to be like that. But I had already built the building and I had already built the road. So I ripped all the roads out, except for all the way back to here, obviously. And as you can see, I turned it right and I turned it left. And it's two lane that way and it's two lane that way. It comes from two lanes here. But it's one lane here. And then I did it over here to kind of keep it symmetrical. And then we got one lane here. So we have our hotel and casino, right? Well, the next structure that I build in this world is going to be another building. And I want to stick to this area of the world and get it kind of get it going uh, before I go anywhere else in the world. Um, I mean, the next structure I build is probably going to be another skyscraper or just another building in general. It doesn't have to be tall like that, but I want it to be on this corner here so that once there's a building here and a building there, then I'll build one next to one of the two. And then I can, after a while, start getting more buildings on the these sides of the street I'll maybe come up with something to do here because I don't know what I want to do with this in the center here because originally with these roads going up the middle I did not have this planned out but with it it with the way it is now I kind of have kind of a central park area here and I don't want to do central park here uh, you guys can give me ideas and I feel like if I didn't say that somebody out there would maybe suggest I turn this into a central park inspired park and I'm not opposed to that, 100% opposed to it, but I don't want to do something very similar to Central Park because I feel like it is a little too skinny to scale because this is just how I see it personally, but if you look at the scale of my character versus the scale of that building, and then you take those two, the character and the building, the Central Park area here wouldn't look necessarily right if I was to do it very similar to Central Park. Um, so. What I have thought of is Love Park, which is located in Philadelphia. I've never been there. I've seen videos of it and I've seen pictures of uh, Love Park. And I think they're redoing it right now or something like that. But it's a little park area and it's more of a round shape than this like more of a than a square like this is right now. But it's like all concrete. There might be a couple trees and bushes here and there. There's a fountain in the middle. There's like a a statue kind of not a statue but like a it's kind of like a statue but anyways you know it's something like that where it's not there's not much grass going on there and that's that's for the most part what I want to do with the city is I want you know sidewalks next to the buildings like you would see in New York City here I want this to either be all concrete or possibly even buildings again you guys can give me suggestions <clears throat> of what I can do here I could put a building in the center here they have building here, here, and here, uh, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but over here, next to the hotel and casino, once we get a building next to the hotel and casino right here, I'll have like an alleyway, like a New York City style alleyway here. And then behind the building that will go here, we'll have a building there, and then one behind the casino. And that will give us a four way uh, alleyway here, a four way intersection to alleyway. And that's just an example. I don't know if I'm going to do that exactly like that right here. Uh, but that's kind of how I see it. It's very New York in my opinion and how I've you know seen New York through videos because I've never been there but it, it would again be very similar to that and again and again I'm not basing this 100% on New York City. I'm not trying to recreate it. I'm trying to use it as inspiration as well as other cities. Um, but that's kind of enough of that right now. I, I kind of just blabbed on about what I want to do with the city but I kind of want to let I want to let you guys know where my head is at when it comes to this world and where I'm at at this point in this world and that is this area over here um, and that is to build you know some more buildings over here and not worry about this side which is more residential where we got our strip mall there we got some houses over there a town home I can't see over there and stuff like that um, so yeah I'm gonna focus on this area and there's other things I want to talk about in this video and I'll try to make it really quick 
Uh, I do want to change my channel name uh, from Sergeant Thomas to something I really don't know at this point. I wanted to change it from Sergeant Thomas to Thomas Builds. Uh, that channel name does not exist, but the URL has been used before, so I can no longer use it, uh, which really stinks. So I don't know what to change my channel name to. Um, I just don't really like my channel name anymore, and I haven't liked it for years, but I've just kept it because I this channel started to grow, and I didn't want to just abandon it. And so I want to change it from Sergeant Thomas to something Minecraft-related, or something with my name in it, Thomas something, something Thomas, but not Sergeant Thomas anymore. I got that name originally because my gamer tag was Sergeant Thomas, and I changed it to that years ago because I was playing lots of first person shooters like Call of Duty and Battlefield, so I wanted something, you know, military sounding, so I went with Sergeant Thomas, and it just stuck, and everything I have is Sergeant Thomas, and I've kind of made that name who I am online, but I don't know. I might end up sticking with it, but I have thought about changing my channel name. Another thing, I want and need a new channel intro, not channel intro, uh, video intro and video outro. Um, the outro right now I made and it's the only outro I've ever had and it's the only one I've ever attempted to make. Uh, I like it, but I want something new. The intro that I have right now was made by Drew Plays Minecraft and More. And it's not bad either, but I kind of feel like I need a new intro, outro, channel trailer, and, you know, new channel art, everything. I just want to make everything new. And I talked about doing that at the beginning of the new year, and I haven't done it. Uh, so many things have been going on. I've just been a little bit lazy. Uh, I would like someone else to make an intro and outro for my channel, but I don't know who to do it. I don't know who to, you know, go and search out to do it. Uh, if you guys know anybody that makes... Um, you know, channel trailer, not channel trailers, but channel art, uh, intros and outros and things like that, and that would be willing to make me one, um, I would obviously credit them with making it, and I would love a new intro, outro, channel trailer, etc. Um, there's really not much else I want to talk about in this video. I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that I had lost a little bit of motivation there. I kind of got a little tired of playing Minecraft, and I took a little bit of a break there. Um, with playing Minecraft, with making videos, uh, and that I haven't stopped entirely with making my YouTube videos, and I don't know how often I'm going to upload um, for a, a bunch of different reasons. There's just so many reasons why I, I can't upload every day, which I wish I could, um, but maybe in the future, uh, but we'll see. I just want to let you guys know, again, all that stuff, and let you know how things are going. In this world and let you know my idea and plans because I'm not gonna be able to show you guys every single thing that I built in this world but I want to let you guys know ahead of time how I want to do things so just look out for my next building to be right here and then we'll go from there um, hopefully things will start growing in this city so that's pretty much gonna do it again if you guys have any suggestions or comments leave them in the comment section below of where I can maybe get some new channel art, uh, stuff like that, intros, outros, um, or if you guys got any ideas with what to do with this right here in between our casino and where our new building's gonna go, let me know and I will definitely check out your comments. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.